uh, go live with this. Start recording that. I'll make sure I'm online. I feel tired already. I was gonna get on here like at three. My skin's like dry or something. It's cold weather's like really messing with me. I did this one. What would this do? Why does I feel like that's lagging though? I mean, honestly, if I wanted to do that, I can just uh, to this. I don't really think I need 
that for that though. So saying it's I guess we'll kinda go by that a little feeling. Yeah. Oh yeah, I guess. Just like build this up more. No. <laughs> Can I darken it though? Oh, was that all in one stroke? <laughs> I was gonna do three to six, but I didn't start to what? <laughs> like four fifty almost. Why is my my arm? Cause I think if I go to bed at six, I wake up at two, that'd be eight hours of sleep. That'd be eight hours of sleep. <laughs> you say eight hours right. 
So, actually, let me get a... Uh, yeah, let me just use that blue. Because the photo I'm using, his eyes aren't that wide. Like the lids cover the top and bottom of the uh, the iris. I'm tempted to make it like where, it, like draw it like more open, so it looks more psychotic. Or just like instead of like just this, it's like doing one of those, which would be interesting. So I'll like deviate from the reference photo. I'm tempted to do a drawing one day. Maybe when I sit down for like a three hour session, I'll just do like an eye. I think I get like a really, either take one or find one, like a really close like macro shot of like an eyeball. Which makes me kind of, I had a, uh, on my mirrorless camera I had, I ended up like taking it back, but I want to rebuy it. It was like a, it was a 22 millimeter f2 lens, but it was also macro. So I'd be tempted to get get that. Well, there's a, I think it's it may be like I don't know if it's like two to one macro. But there's also other ones that are like uh, because I have like in my Amazon wish list or whatever. That like it's a manual, but I get like five to one or whatever. You get like really like really macro with it. I'd be tempted to get one of those and do like a really close macro shot of this of my own eye and use that to study or do an eye study with that. Thank you. 
Yeah, we have to turn the opacity down to like 50 or something like that. All right, so. Let's start building up the, uh, the iris. I guess he has blue eyes. I mean, obviously, I mean, I made him blue, but. Well, a lot of eyes I've done lately are like brown with maybe hints of like hazel or green. But these seem like legit blue. Do I have a, did I make a super, this one's like a dark purple. Why is it sit in there though? Anyway.
I was trying to use something that's like uh that's like a very very dark blue where it's like almost black but it still looks blue in color. I don't know if this is quite because I made this one, this one's like a very this is like black with like a purple tint, this one is. See, it starts adding a little bit of uh, perception of depth. Like it almost looks like it's starting to, instead of it being like a flat circle, it's starting to look like it has a bit of uh, roundness to it. Because I can like, because if I go in and hit it with, I, obviously I'm not done, but if I go in and hit it with like something like this, I mean the difference between like that where it looks flat and that looks like it has like depth and like roundness to it is up uh, is uh that's a big difference is that what I'm trying to say is it not yeah it's that one okay because a lot of times like the because you have your eye your pupil is like black then your iris has like all the different colors in it but it also is lined with black as well. But around the line of black is usually usually like dark bunches, if it makes sense. Because it's like black here, but also the edge, like all the bunching up is like dark is there. Dark there as well. But I may actually go in with the... Because these are like... I don't know, I call them like brown blacks. And that's like pure black up here. I was trying not to like zoom in too far. I try not to like to zoom in past 100, but it's hard to with the eyes because you want to. 
Does he like really like make an entire face like very gestural? So if you like really put a lot of details in the eyes, they can give you a uh, a focal point for the drawing and like everything else will just kind of go along with it. Kind of thinking about getting that uh, Sigma 16 millimeter lens and hook up my mirrorless camera using that as my webcam. That definitely increased the video quality. Because I'm thinking about doing that and trying out a different mic and different audio interface. Then also maybe getting like a stream deck. And maybe like a different capture card. I think by getting the different capture cards, I can have like one. I mean, at some point, maybe even like a desktop. Maybe have a desktop here to put my laptop in the studio. Then have like two different setups that are just pretty much like set up and plug and play and ready to go then have one for my traditional art in the studio then have one set up for the digital stuff here so I can just don't have to like move stuff around to set up to do it or whatever all right so we need some light colors in there something like something like this maybe is that too is that gonna be too light yeah, I'm almost going 200 I can go back and re blacken the pupil. Just trying to build up. I don't even know what those. Because I want to say that there are a bunch of. In the iris of the eye, they're like a bunch of, like, maybe you call it muscles, that all, like, they, like, they go in and out to contract the pupil of the eye. Those two would have been good. It's a lot of dull blues.
try to hit the outside again with that. I may just have to hit it with this, actually. I was trying to hit it with that blue, but it still wasn't quite working the way I was wanting it to. need some light in there. Maybe we need some, uh, actually maybe we need something like this. You know what, uh, I got an idea. Let's see how this works. I want to make a, uh, or maybe I can make a whole layer that's all highlights. So just eye highlights. Yeah, let's do that. So when I do the highlights, the highlights will actually sit on top of the stuff. So if I do a highlight, like a hairline or something, then I go back and like try to fix the rest of it. I'm not like kind of going over it. And then with that, then now we can hit this. Oh yeah, let's hit it with a uh, hard round. Actually, no, that's not. Oh, that would have worked, but. Which fucking clothes? Jesus. Because some of these aren't, like, completely. it without having to worry about messing up the eye altogether.
Why does that look so... Hey, that's right. I don't know why it's... I guess because everything else is not... Too many. Because usually there's like one and then maybe something else. Anyway. Uh, so we'll just lock this for now. Uh, let's get back to the face stuff. and stuff too which I may make its own layer and I can just kind of make just get like a little dirty dryer brush and do it I did not want to spend a lot of time on this one but the way I'm doing it, it looks like it's going to be some red in here definitely some red down here yeah where's that why does this look weird
Oh god. go shaping up that nose a bit Sixty-nine degrees. Uh. 
Maybe I ought to get wireless headphones. Alright, this is getting better than what it looked like earlier. That's, uh... I had a box, like a box fall, and I was like trying to get out of the way and it like scraped my ankle. It's sore though. some in here too. I put like some putrid puke green in there. That needs to come up a bit more. I 
There we go, that's starting to make it. Look. The nose is like the the way that like it curves and it bends and the highlights. Cause there's like there's like a highlight here and then immediately there's like darks here. So it's like like uh it's not a reflective surface, but like reflective metallics have a lot of that too, even the eyes do too, where it's almost like very dark and very bright or like side by side but the nose is like yeah it's probably like one of the most pronounced features on the face so having highlights and then darks right beside each other will help push it into three three dimensionality I guess Is my did it go through? I uh, I got an Instagram post. Maybe it just uh, I said it's in review that two hours ago, but it's saying it's currently boosted now. Cause I made the I made a logo. Well, I didn't set out to make a. I, well, it's it was like a NPC Facebook profile graphic thing, because I made it like an hour and a half, pretty simple. Then I went back the next day and I like simplified it a little bit. I'm like, oh, this could probably go on a T-shirt. So I went on a Teespring and put it on a T-shirt. Then where I got paid yesterday or whatever they used what well, I, I was going to like promote it then, but uh, I didn't get paid until yesterday now. So, uh, uh, a while ago on Instagram, I went and promoted it, so. But it has to, like, you have to, like, uh, 
put it up in this like pending review. That last post I made with the simplified logo in it and showing it on two t-shirts through uh, Instagram logo and it looks like it's currently boosted now to try to uh, direct, run it as an ad to try to like direct people for sales on a Teespring or my Teespring store with that shirt. So I'm doing like, a, I think like $5 a day for three days and see if I get anything out of it. Alright. Because I did some. Because I contemplated also, like, when I get done with one of these, so I can try to build a bigger following, just like promote it, like, throw 10 bucks at it to like promote it for like a day or two to get like the Instagram's. Well, I figure I need to, like, probably set up an actual website first before I do that. I think that's around 200 bucks or something like that. Because I kind of looked into it at one point. Now, what was I? Oh, yeah. Then I use this one maybe for the Because you have like the, the lid of the eye, which is dark, then it, above it is bright. Then you have it where it folds in, and that's dark again. So it's like it's like a line of dark, the line of light, the line of dark again, all in the shadow. So the light's not the brightest light, but it's lighter than the lid and the fold. What did you say? Technically, there's one over here as well. Uh, kind of like right here. Kind of got one, then right there, it got one. I'll lock that back up, then get back on the face. 
Yeah, I almost felt like that's, I don't know, too much here. did pick up the uh oh god it's heavy too I did pick up the uh the artist 24 pro tablet that I ordered which is like a lot bigger and heavier than I thought and I'm going to do I'm going to like unbox it this weekend. So Saturday, I'm going to like film an unboxing video. And I'll probably make a couple of different videos for it. I'll probably do it. I probably do like I did the Deco Zero Three, where I'll do like an unboxing video, and then I'll do a first try video. Maybe that uh, that eye study thing I was talking about, I'll do with that. Then maybe I'll make like I'll use it for like 30 days and make like a 30 day review or follow up or something like that. But uh, because it's normally like 900, but uh, it was on sale. I don't is it still on sale? It was on sale for uh, if I can quit hitting the mic. It was on sale. It was like 180 off, so I figured I'd grab it while I can. Let me see if it still is on sale. Yeah, it still is on sale. So it's pretty interesting. But yeah, I'll try to, I gotta film the unboxing of this. Then I'll edit the video, put it up and try it. I gotta figure out too, cause this thing is, maybe I went too big, maybe I should've went, cause originally I was just gonna get like the 15.6, but I also gotta figure out too, well I guess I can do straight USB-C to USB-C, why silent I playing, uh, cause I guess you can hook it up through, I'll have to get into it, I guess you can hook it up through like a power source, and an HDMI, or you can do USB-C to USB-C, which my laptop luckily has that, the Thunderbolt 3 port, because I kind of got that thinking maybe I'd get like an external GPU. But I was trying to figure out, because I don't know if I can do it with my laptop. If I can like, because right now I'm running the, like the monitor with the laptop screen, but I don't know if I can do that, that, and this. That's why I was contemplating about getting like a desktop computer at some point so I can have the, still have the screen and also this to draw on. Then for the screen, I can keep that right in front of me, have like the reference photo and like maybe the, all the uh, stream stuff, if that makes sense. Cause right now I'm essentially doing like dual monitor stuff or whatever I don't know if with, with this if I can do triple since this technically is a monitor but uh yeah it's then of course if it turns out it's not that great I'll just send it back well I didn't realize I'd been using this thing for like two and a half years the one I'm using now which is this one which is I mean, it works great for what it is. I just want to experience the actual draw on monitor. 
but the Wacom Clinique's are more expensive. I don't know. If I keep doing this and start making money with this, maybe I can try a... Because they... I, like, I was talking about this on, yes on yesterday's stream. They have... Because this one's 24-inch. I'm like, oh, the Clinique has a 24-inch. That's like... The, the XP pin is 2K. But the... Uh, the Clinique is like 4K. I'm like, holy crap. And I looked and I realized they even had like an even bigger one, like a 32 inch. It's supposed to be 4K, like etched glass, which is supposed to be better than the laminate film that comes on that. But I don't know. If I keep doing this, if I can get into like freelancing a lot with like illustrations or logo designs or whatever. Oh, yeah. I need to hit this with the black again. Then at that point, maybe I can put... I mean, a 24 is pretty big, but if I got like a whole 32-inch, that'd be insane. Also, I want to like, obviously draw with it, uh, do some like Photoshop animations with it, and I'm contemplating playing around with like ZBrush, like 3D modeling. And I'd like to have... The, I guess they have like a free version I could play around with, but I wouldn't mind getting like the if I actually play around with it and do it more of it I wouldn't mind like actually getting the full version but it's like I think it's like 800 bucks maybe 900 bucks something like that which is a lot of money and the reason I pulled the plug on that is because it's normally 900 and it was like 180 uh, 180 dollars off which I'm half tempted to make like a quick video about that being like hey it's on sale. If you thought about getting it, go to Amazon and get it now. Then you can use my referral link. Actually, I may. <laughs> I may actually do that. I'd have to put the wide angle on my uh, camera. Actually, I'd be tempted to do that. Because uh, my Amazon affiliate stuff, I've made a couple sales this month. Usually I'll get like something that's like, I got a couple of dollars. Maybe one five buck thing here or there make like 20 or 30 but there was like two that came in there like 20 a piece I'm like because I'm trying to get my YouTube up to a thousand subscribers so I can start monetizing that again because I remember before the whole adpocalypse stuff they uh I had like 88 bucks in ad revenue but they won't send you anything until you hit at least a hundred so I have like 88 bucks sitting there from like years years ago so what does crypto uh those crypto videos i had one crypto video that got me like a hundred and some subscribers something like that i'm like all right i'll throw a couple of those out there which i need a i got another one i can make like how to stake tectonic on the tectonic platform tectonic anyway let's get back to drawing uh what was i doing just doing some highlights here Sleep at the will. Yeah, that's sounds like a pretty accurate song title.
Da, 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 da. Yeah, let's get some. Yeah, let's mix the. Let's do some blue. Make it a little bit bigger. Maybe like 10. This is a very ambient, melodic type. This is like the eight hours of music that you can sleep to type stuff. I'm sure they have like eight hour thunderstorm sleep. That was a thing I heard people doing too. They like get like a, like if there's a storm or something that come by I don't know, maybe they were like in a cabin somewhere. They'd get like an actual video recorder and just set it up and like film it out through the whole night and upload that whole like eight hour clip. And people would play it and they'd like play it to like a white noise machine, sort of. And they'd play it to sleep to and they'd get tons of watch time and stuff. I'm like half tempted to try something like that. It's almost kind of a... Yeah, there's kind of a... There's a... I don't know what you call it when the, the bridge of the nose isn't straight down, but there's kind of a little bulge right here. It's where the, like, where the bone of your skull meets, like, the cartilage of the nose. Sometimes it's, like, wide or whatever. Yeah, I don't know if I had said, too, but when I picked up, I ordered that thing Saturday, and technically it got delivered by Monday, that graphics tablet, but it got delivered to a uh, Whole Foods, like they have like a little Amazon locker. Well, it wasn't a locker, it was like an Amazon hub. They had somebody like working there. But uh, they don't open till like 10 a.m. and they close at 8 p.m. So I'd like stay up yesterday because usually I'd be going to bed now or pretty soon. But I'd like stay up so I can go get the thing. Yeah, he's got like a little mole thing on his nose. That also, I'm, since I started this on this Deco tablet, I'm tempted like to try to finish it on the Deco tablet as well. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. I did drink some coffee while ago, so we'll see how that goes as well. Probably wasn't a good idea to try to like drink coffee and then go to sleep like three hours later, but otherwise I'd be so tired I couldn't concentrate. They really just come sitting here and like just work on these details. And come like a smaller brush and because it's not just like it's there's value shifts in the face, but also there's like a lot of you don't necessarily have to do it, but I like you. I like doing shading to highlight from a car, a colorist's a colorist's perspective, where I want to use like blues for shadows, blues and purples and stuff, instead of just like black. Because some people will do a mid tone, then I guess they'll do like a multiply layer of black. And then it'll multiply with that, so it'll make it shade. Then it'll do the same thing with highlights. But I like coming from like a like traditionalist, like impressionist type thing where I'm doing like 
instead of like black for the nostrils, which I'll probably put in some, but I have I give it a bluish tint so it's like on the cooler end of the spectrum and it'll push the shadows back and then use hot colors to like pull the stuff forward. If that makes any sense. What was I doing with that red? Oh, let me turn the... Yeah, the sketch is off. Okay. Here I say, let me turn the sketch off, but it is off. Uh, let's use this one. This one's a darker red. Might have been a red I made. And I got, like, some time off. Not next week, but the week after. So I'm like... Trying to decide what I want to do. Because I'm tempted just to stay here and just work and try to knock out a ton of stuff. Or do traditional art. Or actually take a vacation and go somewhere. Or maybe even like uh, play the Elden Ring game, which I'm interested in. I was looking at it because it's, uh, it's like 60 bucks, or they had like the whatever thing for like an extra 20 so it's like 80 bucks and it would I mean it wouldn't be a bad vacation just to sit home for like a week and just like Im immerse myself in a video game because that'd be about the only time I'd play it I guess then like stream pretty much all of it But yeah, TikTok is like nothing but Elden Ring clips. Then also, I guess if I stream it on this channel or upload clips to this channel, and if it helped the channel out, then yeah. Because in the past, I made like a separate gaming channel because I was going to like keep this thing separate and this thing separate and just... At this point, I'm just putting most things on this channel. Unless it's like political news clips. I had a separate channel for that because I was doing like a podcast daily for that to let people know what's going on but I figured it may be better there's a lot of people doing political podcasts but I feel like there's less people doing like I can do like political art and the high quality memes as such and maybe use my skills in that and be more effective than just like another podcast or whatever or another whatever it is now if I didn't have to work a day job I'd probably do both I'd probably get up do podcast thing for like because I'd research it for a little bit and then film it then edit the video because I basically would I just go into the edit and like pump up the volume so it'd be loud enough and then upload it in description and all this stuff and I think I took about I usually took about three or four hours something like that so I figure I spend three to four hours a night doing this type stuff and maybe Do this instead, I guess. Because there's a couple of... There's like Ben Garrison. And there's George... Was it Apanala? Whatever his name is. There's another guy I found too that does like political cartoon type stuff. And they got a decent amount of... I don't know if they're doing it full-time or... What, either. I 
that's why that looks funny, because I need to... Alright, this is getting a little repetitive. Also another thing too, instead of using darks and lights and stuff, you can use like directional lines, almost like hatching across hatching to enforce the what a shape looks like, if that makes sense. Like the bridge of the nose is like going up so you can use like these angled lines to reinforce that. Uh, thought, narrative, idea. Because you can almost like, it'd be like, doing like that, then like that, just reinforce, then have like the highlights like do like this, and maybe even like start rolling off like that with the highlights. But obviously, I'm doing that, but very lightly, like building up in layers. Maybe I ought to do a uh, try one where I'm doing like a direct painting and such, where it's like full hard round, full full opacity, and I have to like I can't like layer anything. I have to like do direct brush strokes essentially. Cause that's kind of what impressionism is. It's like uh, it's like wet on wet direct whatever oh, that's not what I I meant to hit space
At some point in time, if I continue doing this, I may need to get like a standing table or something like that. Get one of those ones where I can like sit for an hour and then rise it up and like stand for an hour. How much are those? Would that would IKEA have? I was thinking about looking at some stuff, but I'll do it when I get done here. Hour and a half into the stream. Do I, know, do, I do another hour and a half? I think I was trying to do, like, try to average three a night if I can. But it's, I mean, try to do a minimum of, like, an hour or something like that. Because I need to wake up probably, like, at two. So that'd be... <clears throat> seven and a half hours from now if I could wake up then I'm about to buy one of those alarm clocks that like deaf people have that like vibrate you awake I am cold I'm about to wear my coat what was I doing here Zoom in a little bit, y'all. Because technically, if I wanted to... Oh, yeah, I was going to work on the... Let's put this together. This is, like, kind of... Throwing stuff off. For me. I mean, the sketch has got me... Something like this, I guess. It should be pretty much in line with. That's right.
And I can probably clean this up too with uh Yeah, let's hit something like this. Good. Now we'll just keep it this, I guess. We'll do something similar up here, too, I guess. Try to line some of this up a little bit. like a dark muted blue. Can I move this? I can. Okay, so if I have like that. Oh, are these part of this though? Or is that something I added? Oh, it's literally just... I have all this other stuff too. What is pure? Oh, light. They got pastel. They got grayscale. and got peers and all that stuff. What was I doing? Why'd I get a light blue for? I don't know why I got a light blue for. Oh, I was moving it around. I wasn't planning on spending this much time on Pete Buttigieg. I was gonna do it like that George Takai one where I just like knocked it out in a single session in like four and a half hours. what it was looking like. That's what it looks like now. That's what it was looking like. What it looks like now. Alright, so I've made some progress. I'd hope so. I've been drawing for a while.
That's what I'm saying. These things take. Because I think that Pokemon one was like 10 or 12 hours. I think the Samson one was probably like 15, but I was like concentrated on the face and the hands as well. Because the hands take a good a bit, a good bit amount of a good amount of time as well. What was I working on before that one? Oh, yeah, I was working on my logo for that. Well, not my logo, but I was working on a logo. Oh yeah, I remember what I was going to do. I was needing to, uh, give me that one. same thing. Let's make fun out over here. Maybe there's too much highlight in the in the eyes or something. I don't know. It's not It's not coming together quite yet. I guess it's still technically in the early stages. Because I only did what? Wait, a minute, how'd... how much did I draw yesterday? Oh, my nose is itching. Yeah, I only drew like an hour and a half yesterday. Oh, that's right, because I was doing the whole. Uh, I was doing the t-shirt stuff and simplifying that logo and stuff. That's why.
All right, so we got the face here. I'm tempted to go ahead and make the stubble layer just so I can. Uh... Normally, I do that as a last. I do that as a last thing, but. So what I want to do is, should be pretty simple actually. Just get one, uh, this one maybe? Chunky charcoal? Or this one? Let's try chunky charcoal first. See if that works. Then yeah, we'll just do that. No, oh, chunky charcoal is not gonna work. Oh, let me try opacity. I mean, kinda, but not really. So let's try not chunky charcoal, but uh, splatter bot tilt. Trying to do it something. That's still too heavy though. That's still. So that one's not working. Let's try this one then. I don't know if it's going to be any better though. It is not. Let's try with the opacity, see how that. Yeah, but I don't want it lighter, though. Unless I literally do something like, uh... do opacity though why is it because I don't want it like lighter I just want it more spread out and sporadic though what it, why is this a thing Kinda works though, but that definitely doesn't though. Unless I make it, let's try with this one to see if this does it. Come on, I thought I had it there for a second. Because that's too much. Maybe 
Maybe we can try it with the opacity. Now I guess technically I only had I had coffee before I went to work. Then I ate breakfast for lunch. Then I had some more coffee and I came home. So I like drank almost as much coffee than I compared to me food that I've eaten. I guess really well. I mean the coffee. I mean I normally eat breakfast and then lunch. So me drinking the coffee before I went to work is normal, but it, I don't know, I ate less, but I normally don't eat or drink anything other than water when I get home, but I had some coffee while I go with cream in it, so that technically, it's outside it, wasn't supposed to do it if I'm like fast for whatever, but I was like, whatever. I don't want to fix just straight black coffee. I gotta see if there's like a tea or something I could. Uh, fix.
de Or it's like not so much like thicker stuff or whatever I can probably a little bit but there with the highlights there I feel like we need more of the Working on layers is nice. Yeah, I still need like some, well yeah, this color actually. I'm like, I was to say I need like some purple or whatever, but this blue color is, why am I? You don't want to pay $4 for a gallon of gas? Huh? Almost two hours. Ugh, almost two hours.
Kind of sounds like something from Earthbound. Beep, burp, beep, burp, burp. All right, what am I doing here? I got blue. I want to put some more blue down here. There we go, that's starting to bring some stuff together here. So the stubble or that the stubble layers are more for the texture of stubble. Then I go back and put like darks under it or whatever, and it'll help reinforce the appearance of it being more stubble. If that makes any sense. Because, for example, if I do like this, then it almost feels like there's a more stubble there because it's darker. But I'm not going that heavy that quick, though. At least I'm not trying to. See if we can mix it up and make it look. So how this makes it look. There's some uh some reddish purple in there too. Getting about the like, I start working on like darkening the uh, inside of the mouth, and I always get distracted and start working on other stuff. Oh yeah, this is getting. Christmas music? Sounds like Christmas It's almost like uh, you can kind of like curve the lines here to so like roll it off the top of the, the, the 
cheekbone and the uh yeah i guess the cheekbone because it really if you wanted to you could almost do like that then something like that to give us some form some of that red back up in here. I keep forgetting to, I'm like, oh, I gotta do the lips, and I keep forgetting to do the lips. Well, it's not the lips, it's just the, the mouth.
I may end it here in a little bit. End your suffering. It's like I said, dark. Let's make it like 10. That's like a straight up purple, isn't it? I'm getting pretty tired too. Even though I drank that coffee a while ago. getting somewhere though. It just takes time to do this. Because I'm doing this one too. I'm like, I might as well do one of Stephen Colbert. Like, I'll pay $15 a gallon gas for a clear conscience. I'm only worth $75 million. I think, he, I think someone was saying he gets paid like $16 million a year for that. He's doing like the late show now. Which sucks because I liked him on the Colbert report. But when he went to, like, was it the late night or late show, whatever, he completely, like, flipped. It used to be The Daily Show with Don Stewart. The Daily Show with John Stewart, then, like, The Colbert Report, Stephen Colbert. Like, those two shows were good. I think originally, the, I think maybe they were trying to give the Colbert or Stephen Colbert the Daily Show or whatever. Made him going to like Trevor, Trevor, Trevor Noah, which I don't know if anybody even like heard of him before that. And now it's kind of turned to like woke garbage, kind of like the what was it John Oliver Tonight or whatever. I got an accent. It makes me sound smarter. Stubble doing a little bit here. We got highlights doing a little bit here. I actually don't mind the highlights for on the shirt. Like I'd be half tempted to like copy the sketch layer and then go and like erase all of this stuff for the
There's actually some red up here too. I think that's why I was doing that purple. Kind of like a reddish brown, almost like a, uh, is it burnt sienna?
are getting dry. It's almost, uh, is there a, there's like light and shadow, then there's like a reflective highlight. I'm trying to figure out if there's like one under here. And, like look at my other monitor here. I'll probably put more highlight on the more towards the tip of the nose.
Maybe not so much back here. I think I do something with the whole, the whole temple area is like flat. So I do something with that. I could probably go in with uh, another layer and do like wrinkles, like forehead wrinkles or something. Well, I could probably actually put that on the same layer with the stubble because if the stubble's down here, then the wrinkles are up here. Yeah, it's got to keep building it. I mean, it's not bad. I'm what, three, four hours into this drawing? About four hours into it or whatever. So it's not terrible for four hours. Can I get it done in like eight hours? Like if I had like another session? Maybe. Well. I'll get off work tomorrow. Then I'll, I don't have to go in Saturday. So I could. Like now I'm going to bed. Well now I'm stopping this because I need to go to bed so I can sleep. So I can get up and go to work. Since I don't work on Saturday, I could technically just stay up for however long I need to Saturday morning and just finish this. So if I put like another four to another like four to six hour session or something like that, then like knock it out and get it done. I mean, if I really want to, I could. Well, the hair still looks plasticky, so I need to make that more. Uh, natural looking. Then maybe something with the... Maybe shade the shirt a little bit here and there a little bit more. Put in like some... Maybe like definitive lines for whatever. Then just kind of keep playing around with the face. And build it up. And blend it out and stuff. That may, I may do something with those highlights. Because it may be like too many highlights on the eyes or whatever. I may just go in and put like, because how I got like a bunch of little spots, I may just go in and do like one, two spots, like a spot in the splash or something like that. Like a spot in a line. That's, that's it for tonight, I guess. So I am going to get off of here after, what, two and a half hours? It's not bad. It's not a bad little, bad little sesh. Two and a half hour sesh. It's not bad. It's not a bad little sesh. I gotta get some sleep, though. Because I was planning on working from, like, three to six. But seven... Lay down for a little bit. 7.30, 8, something like that. Finally fall asleep, I guess. What the hell is mod view? Oh, man. That was weird. But, uh... Yeah. Two and a half hours. It's a decent stream. So I'm gonna... Yeah, right. I'm gonna...